Hey there, today we are doing a really hasty, quick, um, an amazing episode. It's about instant films. You know these things that are just like these frames and you have this shitty camera and then you take random party pictures. Today we'll show you a way how to take amazing sharp pictures with that camera. In a second. So what you need for this is you need a medium format camera and I happen to have multiple of those um, Like this I have a foldable camera here. Uh, it's the Cora one from I assume 1950s with Enoverk Munchen lens on it 75 mil you need any device that can process Fuji film Instax film. So we have here a printer. What we will do is use the printer for that. But if you have the camera, it is doable. Like you can do the same. Like if you have the Fuji instant camera. Um, so yeah, here we go. Okay, so what you need, as we said, is this um, is any medium format camera, the Fuji processing device uh, what you do is you open the back of the camera so I'll close the camera here for a second you open the back of the camera we already did this as you can see uh, so this is double-sided tape here so I just had a instant photo I just put it here and then measured it and then put the instant film here as you can see like this and put double-sided tape here the reason I did this is because I don't want the film to move inside the camera when I put it like this so you put the film in like this and you close the back why not the white side because this is the negative part and this is the positive part where you get the image so you want the light information to be on the negative side and then get it processed onto the positive side and eventually get the image. All this of course is done in the dark. You take the film out of the cartridge in the dark by pushing it simply out and it's it doesn't destroy the film, it's no worries. So when you see the frame you know it's the positive side. When there is no borders you see it's the negative side. You put the negative side on the camera's back, in the dark, you close the back, take your photo. After taking your photo, close the camera, go to this pitch black dark place you have and open the back of the camera again. Take out the film and you put this film as you took it out, so the chemical side up back into the cartridge and then you put the cartridge into your device in this case this thing here and what this device does is whenever you put the cartridge it just extracts one photo the black sheet but in this case we don't have a black sheet we have this with a camera you would need to close the lens and be sure that the lens doesn't get any light into it We'll just take some photos and show you how it looks. So yeah, now we're gonna take the photo. Uh, we loaded the camera in the dark. Um, and let's see how this one works. So I'm using my friend Sabine over here to take the photo off. She's not really happy about it, <laughs> but I guess. <laughs> the film has 800 ISO, so you need to Measure the light according to that. The shutter is ready. And three, two, one. Now we're gonna go back into the dark room and take the photo out, take the film out, put it back into the cartridge, and then let the printer process the photo. And you'll see in a second. And 
and in a second he will be ready. Oh, you're not supposed to shake the film, by the way. <laughs> Don't do it. So yeah, that was it. It's not really that complicated, you just need to know that you have to expose the negative side and that it turns to the positive by itself obviously when you develop it through the chemicals that's inside the film. You just need to take care of the ISO and not let any light leaks. I'll be buying more film for this to see what I can do with this. That was it. Uh, thanks for watching. You can go like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you feel like it. 